This is one of the biggest grocery hauls we've ever done. Walmart stuff, we got some Thrive stuff, Amazon, Costco. We have pizza now for the rest of forever. Everything in here is packaged, what is that? Paula, Paula Smith, I got your... She done gave us her box cutter. All right, you guys, today is Friday. That means it is our preparation day. We spend the day cleaning the house, getting things ready, getting any groceries we need for the weekend or the beginning of next week. Today is extra special because we are preparing for a Bible study here tomorrow with a whole bunch of our um, friends and some new friends. It's gonna be amazing. We're feeding everyone lunch. So we need a ton of groceries to get us through um, tomorrow and then through the beginning of next week. So I am getting ready to head to the store with my friend Becca to get a few things I could only get from Walmart they didn't have a delivery or pickup option available in time so I need to head there and shop the old-fashioned way everything else though is getting delivered to our door and you won't believe it we've got stuff coming from everywhere this is gonna be the biggest gluten-free mostly organic grocery haul we've ever done if you're new here we love to feed our kids as much organic food as possible but they also have a celiac disease so we have no option except to eat gluten-free um, and we really don't mind so a lot of what we get is sharing uh, gluten-free and healthier options for kids and for grown-ups and for everybody. So some of the stuff is already here. I will dive in later and show you everything we got. I'm telling you, this is one of the biggest grocery hauls we've ever done. So now I gotta get to the store and get back so that I can show you guys everything we got. The doorbell <laughs> just rang you guys and it is another grocery delivery, which I totally forgot about until just now. But this one is from JP's. Um, it is our favorite, favorite bakery. It's not super close, but we just found out they deliver, which is amazing. It's our favorite bakery because it is 100% gluten-free. Everything that they make is gluten-free. The entire bakery is gluten-free. Oh, okay, I made it home. I threw <laughs> all the things in here. Okay, so. There's not a lot of trunk space in this guy, so I basically shoved everything in and to the side, which means I'm gonna have to carry it in. But my whole cart was full, you guys, so I went for like, I had a list. The list wasn't like that long, but this grocery haul just got even bigger. Walmart stuff, our JP's bag. We got some Thrive stuff, Amazon, Costco. <laughs> I didn't think I was exaggerating when I said it was gonna be the biggest, but like I also am like, this is, it definitely is the biggest grocery haul we've ever done. Look at it. All right, so JP's Bakery is amazing. Um, we got a few things. One, some gluten-free Hawaiian rolls, which would be perfect for tomorrow with our chili. I've got some gluten-free pumpkin bread. Hello. Like everything they make tastes Incredible. You would literally never know it was gluten free. It's so good. Um, it's more of that pumpkin cheesecake, but like little bite sized ones. John bought a pumpkin cheesecake from there a few weeks ago and it was so good. Oh, there's another one. And we got our challah bread for Shabbat, which is Sabbath dinner that we do every Friday night. So um, our family will share one of these, but we're also, we got a whole bunch. We'll probably use this for chili tomorrow too for our Bible study. So. So let's dive right into Walmart. I love Walmart's prices and they are getting more and more gluten-free things, dairy-free things. It's amazing and you can't beat the prices. So this is our favorite gluten-free pizza, the Daya brand, because it is gluten-free, but it's also dairy-free. We have cut out dairy for our girls. It is helping them tremendously. Um, this is new flavor, it's so good. Basically, we have pizza for the rest of our lives. One, we're having pizza tonight. Two, we have a deep freezer, so we will store a whole bunch of this out there. So we don't go to the store often, so we really like to just stock up. We have pizza now for the rest of forever. The same Daya brand, we've got a bunch of burritos, John. Santa Fe style and Tex-Mex style. So this is just basically a bag of burritos. I also got you this breakfast burrito. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So, bag of frozen burritos. We've got avocados. Our kids love avocados and we eat them with all kinds of stuff. This is just a bag of beans. We've got some organic tricolor beans. They're gonna go in this pot for tomorrow because we are feeding all of our friends a really yummy vegan chili. Perfect bars, if you know me at all, you know this is one of my favorite things. 
ever. Walmart has the absolute best prices. Got some almond perfect bars for the kids. And this snack for mama. It's like a peanut butter cup, but kind of healthier. This snack for the kids, I love these. They're organic cucumbers, but they're like mini. So literally I can be like, if you want a snack, just go grab a cucumber and they can just munch on a whole cucumber. I got some celery. I'm gonna juice this and drink it because I've heard it's really good for you. And I feel like my body has been begging me to put something healthy Okay, La, this EnviroKids brand is one of my kids' favorite for cereals. I just found this like super sized bag. Uh, they're gluten free, organic cereal, super good. When we are super pressed for time or just need a quick, easy dinner, um, we love these Ian's fish sticks. They are wild caught and they're gluten free, which is perfect for the girls. Um, sometimes we'll throw them in like taco shells and make fish tacos with them. I uh, got some sweet potato gnocchi. This is gluten free. Um, with pasta sauce, it makes like a really quick and easy meal, which you might see a reoccurring theme here. We like super simple because we have a lot of melts to feed. Canyon Bakehouse, uh, this is one of our favorite gluten-free bread brands. We actually realized that Elena also cannot have quinoa and a lot of them have quinoa flour. These do not. So for now, this is what's working best for our family, the Canyon Bakehouse bagels, bread. I got some safe and fair birthday granola because it's my favorite. There's still so much. These are my favorite like granola bars. Cherry vanilla walnut. They're called perfect bars. I guess I just have a thing for perfect bars, right? They're really good. Okay, so we got pears, organic apples, mini bell peppers, mini sweet peppers. In our house, snacks look like fruits and veggies, whether it's carrots or cucumbers or apples or peppers or pears. If the kids are hungry and they want a snack, the first thing I say is grab a fruit or a vegetable. It's not always that, so that's what our Thrive order is for. That's where we get a lot of our like gluten-free junk foods, if you will. All right. This is a bag full of, oh, a couple things. Fake meat. It's vegan. It's great in chili or to make stuffed peppers or to make like zucchini boats or tacos or whatever you want to do and substitute instead of ground beef. We use this. I also grabbed these. So interesting. Okay, mixed root vegetable fries. So they're like, you know, potatoes, sweet potatoes, and purple things. Parsnip, red beetroot. Okay, fries. And then I grabbed this. We'll give it a go. Never had it before. Cannot promise you anything, but cauliflower hash browns. I'm betting that they're probably really good. Crackers, more crackers. Some people like a little bit of crunch with their chili, so we'll have the chili, we'll have the bread, but in case anyone wants something crunchy, we've got some crackers. I grabbed a thing of tea because I like tea. I like this because it's not sweetened and it's also organic. And then this is for our Shabbat dinner tonight for the kids. And then we got some Planet Oat oat milk for our friends tomorrow. We have a lot of vegan friends. Um, so when John makes lattes with his espresso machine, he likes to use different kinds of milks for them. All right, that's it for Walmart. Walmart is done. That's a wrap. What next? Next, we have Costco. What did I get from Costco? Well, let me just show you. And I actually ordered Costco not that long ago, so we didn't really need to stock up, but there's some things that are just better for a large family to get there. Bananas, oranges, squash and zucchini, which I will be using for the chili. So a huge bag like this, best price and it's organic. We also got organic apples from there. I love that it's $5 for this like massive bags of organic apples from Costco. My kids will eat like four apples a day. If I let them, I try not, not to let them eat that many, but um, there are worse things that they could eat a lot of, I guess. You have this strand of hair that's like, it kind of looks like a rat tail. Cool, sorry about my rat tail. Um, <laughs> Okay, pasta sauce. So well, I made chili like last week actually, and I didn't have tomato paste and I didn't have, I didn't have much. And I was like, oh no, I can't make this. What am I gonna do? Wait, I have a jar of pasta sauce. Made it with that. It was amazing. So I'm just gonna go with it again. So I got a bunch of pasta sauce. Okay, apple sauces. There will be like, I don't know, maybe 15 kids here tomorrow. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of kids here. So applesauce, uh, diced tomatoes, also for our chili. And one last Costco box. I got some spring mix in case anyone wants salad. This is not gonna be enough for everybody for tomorrow. Celery sticks, cause celery is a really good flavor to add to chili. Some grass-fed butter, some blueberries, some raspberries. 
Oh, there's another one. Uh, I thought there was only one. There's two. Perfect. Sour mix. And then we've got some big cucumbers. And then we've got some eggs. I love this because it's packs of 24. They're organic, fresh raised. Uh, until we can get our own chickens, this is gonna have to do. Okay, that takes care of Walmart and Costco. Now we've got Amazon, and then there's still some stuff in the Thrive boxes. I'm like, not wanting to put this stuff away. All right, sweet potato fries, one of our family's favorites. You can throw beans and cheese and cilantro and whatever on top and eat them like nachos. You can just serve them with something. Uh, they're great by themselves as a snack, whatever we love. All right, what else is in here? Are you ready? Let's see. We've got some dairy-free cheese for our vegan kids and our vegan friends. Some dairy-free sour cream for our chili. Um, some not dairy-free cheese for our friends who like cheese and me. This is tofu sour cream. The kids seem to really like this one. I think it's better than the other brand. I don't even remember that one. But the Daya mozzarella cheese, like the Daya cheeses melt really well. Oh, look at this. Root vegetable hash browns. Isn't that cool? Yukon gold potatoes, sweet potatoes, and carrots. We love these. These are basically slices of sweet potato that you heat up and you could do, look, here's the picture. This is avocados and tomatoes. This one has peanut butter and bananas, and this is an egg and avocados. And it's so good, and our kids devour them. An alternative to bread, it's a great gluten-free option, but also like sweet potatoes are really good for, they're like really healthy fats. They're good for your brain um, and your body. Nobody wants to host anything and then have to wash a bunch of dishes, so we got these. Deep dish, right? Perfect. Nice. And then for the kids, these are cute because they look like little animals. Also, remember how I said there were gonna be like 15 kids here? There's gonna be no Bible studying unless we have something for the kids to do. So I got some coloring things, some new crayons. One, spin drips, our favorite drink of choice. We no longer drink soda because, I don't know, we cut that out like a long, that was one of the first things we just stopped and I don't miss it. Gluten-free brownies! I thought we could make peppermint brownies. What do you think? Last time I made chili, I used water with the tomato sauce. And then I thought to myself, man, I wish I had some like broth because it might just give it like a heartier flavor. So I got this vegetarian, no chicken broth. It tastes like chicken broth-ish, but it doesn't have any chicken in it. And then I got some honey. Ah, it's raining bell peppers. We've got green bell peppers red bell peppers, orange bell peppers, yellow bell peppers. Here's a little hint, Amazon Prime Now. If they deliver in your area, best prices on organic like produce and foods. Here's some gluten-free breadcrumbs, John. John likes to make his own fish sticks with mahi-mahi. Uh, also like eggplant, you can make your own like nuggets, you know, instead of chicken nuggets, eggplant nuggets, or whatever. You just get the breadcrumbs, easy. They make gluten-free ones. I got some organic lime juice. Uh, this is my favorite brand like that you can buy in a store of dairy milk. It is grass-fed whole milk. Some more organic soy milk. This is what John drinks all the time. And then we got some more oat milk. This is like a barista version, so it's supposed to be better for making coffee with. Graham crackers and marshmallows because we have a newfound love for s'mores. And also this brand, Pamela's. There's another box. There's supposed to be another box. They're super good. Some chocolate chips. I don't know what they're for. Uh, some chili powder because we need that to make chili. I got this for myself. It's not gluten-free, but it's no chicken noodle soup. So it's like chicken noodle soup without the chicken. Some limes to go with our lime juice so we can make limeade, I guess. Cilantro. I love cilantro. Apparently it's like a 50-50 divide. Some people think it tastes like soap. Some people like just hate it and then most of the people I guess 50 50 is half enough. The rest of them love it. I fall into the love it. I could eat it on a lot of different things. Probably not everything but certainly in my chili. And then John I got these pizza crusts for us to try. So we do our own pizza with the vegan cheese, pizza sauce, pizza crust. We'll never run out of pizza. Yeah. Okay, so that was the end of the Amazon stuff. Now we're into, we have three Thrive boxes. Again, Thrive is like mostly snacks for us. Um, I'll just show you guys super quick what we got here because we're gonna have to start getting this stuff put away and dinner in the oven. Oh, perfect. 
So we have the cinnamon grams and the honey grams. I haven't had these yet, so if anybody has in the comments, let us know if you love them. Vienna, chick puff, chickpea, chickpea puffs. They are ranch flavored, they're vegan. Have some baby wipes, because we are out of our Young Living ones and they are back ordered, so. Some pancake and waffle mix. This is our favorite, favorite gluten-free waffle mix. It works in like a waffle iron. It's the best, thing. best, best, best. John, this is for you. Some Ripes ramen. Nice. Thought you would like that. Some vegetable chips. I got some magnesium chews. Maybe just to help me sleep. I have trouble like falling asleep at night. So I thought maybe if I just try that. Um, Char hamburger buns. There we go. Plant snacks. Beet chips with vegan goat cheese. Right? Yeah, that was right. Beat with vegan goat cheese. All time favorite chips ever are these sweet potato tortilla chips. They're like, they're so good. They're so good. So, we got a lot of them. Veggie sticks. I love the Thrive ones because they are organic and certified gluten free. Not many veggie sticks out there are organic. Fit Joy gluten free pretzels. Some paleo puffs. These are kind of like cheese curls, but without the actual dairy and a little bit healthier ingredients. Vegan jerky. Uh, this is a maple bacon flavored vegan jerky. Some vegan, these are cauliflower. So think Cheez-Its, but made from cauliflower. So there's no wheat um, and there's no dairy. They're actually vegan, fake cheese. This is gluten-free stuffing mix. Ooh, yummy. We love stuffing so much. We love stuffing so much. Pumpkin bread and muffin mix. Well, I bought these for myself coconut milk caramels, although I pictured the bag being like, you know, like this big. It's not. I got more chocolate chips. I don't know what these are for. Some more of these pizza crusts, so we'll literally never run out of pizza. You can tell Thanksgiving's coming up by the cranberry sauce. Vegan ghee to cook instead of butter for the kids. Everything in here is packaged, what is that? Patty Smith. Paula, Paula Smith, I got your, I got you Paula. Did Paula pack this box up? Is it yeah, a box cutter? Yep, Paula packed it up. She done gave us her box cutter. I was like, what is that? I don't, I don't know what that is. Is this a surprise? It was a surprise. I got some balsamic vinegar. Ah, oh, coconut milk, there we go. We just, you can never have too many options for milk for your coffee. Last box, then we're getting this stuff put away. Um, I'm trying these out, John. They're gluten-free yeah. cinnamon O's. One of my favorite cereals is like the yes. apple cinnamon Cheerios, but these are organic and gluten-free. Sun-dried tomato and basil, almond flour crackers. Simple Mills has the best like gluten-free crackers. Some more pretzels, some different kinds. Okay, plant snacks again. This is a vegan cheddar flavor. We got some, this brand, this Quinn brand is so good. Uh, some regular pretzels, some stick pretzels. Cause you know when you're like two or three, the shape of the pretzel can make or break your day. You guys are so helpful. Okay, vegan Parmesan, you know, like the shaky kind you put on pasta. This is apple butter, Ooh, organic is apple butter. That we love apple good. butter. So these are like, hey, you know, cheese puffs, vegan nachos. Yeah, mommy. Yeah, mommy. Yeah, mommy. We got coconut milk and yeah. peanut butter. Our favorite peanut butter comes yeah, from dry market. Yeah. Some white jasmine rice, yeah. coconut sugar, just in case. Well, we're trying to like cut white sugar, so instead, I thought we could try this too, John, maybe. Our favorite sauces, there is our marinara for all of our pizza crusts, okay? These are really good. They're great for your throat, they're great for like your body. Manuka honey is really good for just like your body in general, so. Yeah, we've got some mini marshmallows. These are vegan. They don't have any dye in them or gluten or gelatin, so they're great. These are for me and my friends. Now, we just have to put it all away, make dinner, clean up a little bit, um, all before the sunsets. All right, you guys, that was our gluten-free grocery haul, the biggest one we've ever done. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of our family's favorite foods. We're gonna go, I'm gonna put these away, make dinner for the kids, get them in bed, and then relax. I hope you guys have a really blessed weekend. Um, and get some rest in and some family time, and we will see you later. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you wanna make sure you don't miss any of our videos, click follow, follow again, and then tap see first to make sure you stay up to date on what's going on with our family.